Have you ever wondered what it truly means to live a righteous life? This question brings us to one of the most significant moments in Jesus' teaching ministry, the Sermon on the Mount. Here, Jesus delivers a comprehensive summary of his moral teachings, a blueprint for the Christian ethics and spirituality. The sermon commences with the Beatitudes, a series of blessings. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Through these profound words, Jesus encourages us to seek spiritual richness over material wealth, comfort in mourning, and strength in meekness. But let's delve deeper. The sermon is not just about adhering to divine laws. It's about the importance of inner purity and sincere intent. It's about going beyond mere ritual observance. Jesus exhorts his followers to seek a righteousness that surpasses that of the Pharisees and scribes. He calls for a heartfelt compliance with God's commands, characterized by love and mercy. Consider this. You have heard that it was said, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Here, Jesus challenges the conventional wisdom of the day, urging his followers to not just follow the law but to go beyond it, to respond to aggression with peace, to meet hate with love. The Sermon on the Mount is a call to elevate our moral standards. It's about cultivating an inner purity that goes beyond mere ritual observance. It's about nurturing a heart that is full of love and mercy, a heart that is willing to go the extra mile to do more than what is merely required by law. So, when we think about what it truly means to live a righteous life, let's remember the teachings of Jesus during the Sermon on the Mount. Let's strive to live out these principles in our daily lives, because ultimately, the Sermon on the Mount challenges us to elevate our moral standards and cultivate an inner purity that goes beyond mere ritual observance. Ever pondered over the profound wisdom hidden in simple stories? Well, Jesus did, and he used this technique masterfully to convey complex spiritual truths. He often taught through parables, employing everyday scenarios and simple stories that his listeners could easily relate to. Take, for instance, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Here. Jesus addresses the question of who qualifies as a neighbor. In the story, a man is attacked by robbers and left for dead on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. A priest and a Levite both pass by, ignoring the man's plight. But a Samaritan, a member of a group despised by the Jews, stops to help the man, tending to his wounds and paying for his care. This parable promotes a universal standard of charity and compassion. It challenges us to extend our care and concern beyond our own circle, to transcend ethnic, religious, and social boundaries. In essence, it calls us to love without limits, just as God loves us. Then there's the parable of the prodigal son. In this story, a young man takes his inheritance and squanders it in a far-off country. When a famine hits, he finds himself destitute and decides to return home, hoping that his father will accept him as a servant. But his father, seeing him from afar, runs to him, embraces him, and throws a feast to celebrate his return. This story beautifully illustrates the boundless mercy of God and his readiness to forgive those who repent. It highlights the joy of redemption, the transformative power of forgiveness, and the value of second chances. It reminds us that no matter how far we may stray, God's love and mercy are always there, waiting for us to return. In these parables, Jesus presents profound spiritual truths in simple, relatable stories. He encourages us not just to hear these stories, but to live them, to embody the values of charity, compassion, and forgiveness. These are not just tales of moral instruction, but invitations to a transformative way of life. So let's take these lessons to heart and strive to live out these values in our everyday lives. Did you know that Jesus' teachings extended beyond sermons and parables? Indeed. His ministry was not confined to the mount or the storytelling circle. He actively sought opportunities to share divine wisdom in synagogues, the centers of Jewish religious life, and in public spaces where everyday people gathered. In these settings, Jesus' teachings often sparked debates with religious leaders of the time. These interactions were not merely confrontational. They served as platforms where Jesus could further illuminate his unique interpretations of scripture demonstrating his deep understanding of divine law and his authority on spiritual matters. An example of this is found in the book of Luke, where Jesus, 
in his hometown of Nazareth, reads from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah in the synagogue, revealing his mission to bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Through his teachings in synagogues and public places, Jesus demonstrated his deep understanding of scripture and his commitment to spreading divine truth.